hirap mag-build ng computer. But joking aside, mahirap talaga siya. But for this video, we're gonna be talking about 10 tips na kahit anong experience level mo, makakatulong if you're thinking about building a computer. Do you know what's also useful and quite affordable? Getting rid of that pesky watermark by obtaining an original and discounted Windows product key from our sponsor, CD Key Offer. Step one, click on the link in our video description corresponding to the version of Windows you want. I'll select Windows 10 Pro. Step two, make an account with CD Key Offer. Step three, add to cart. Use our discount code HS20 and you'll receive a 25% discount. Every CPU cooler, regardless kung AIO siya or air cooler, comes with a sticker at the bottom of its plate. Now, the purpose of that sticker is to prevent damage to that plate because this is the one that comes into contact with the CPU. You want this plate to be as smooth as possible so that it has better contact with the CPU which allows it to better dispel the heat. Yung problema, marami sa atin either nagbambadali or ayo lang magbasa, we forget to remove the sticker and that's a big problem. With the sticker in place, the CPU cooler can't do its job. Iinit yung CPU mo, eventually magsha-shut down yung computer mo. So save yourself a lot of trouble, just remember to remove the bloody sticker. It happens to the best of us, excited excited na tayo after building, and we want to see the computer working, but when we turn on the power on the case, nothing happens. And at this point, it's very easy to panic. Dami mo nang iniisip, did I wire everything correctly? Did I miss something? Why won't it boot up? But the first thing that you should do is don't panic and check the switch on the PSU if it's in the on position. Because a lot of times, once you flip it on, the computer will turn on also. This one is the subject of a lot of memes, but to be fair, it is easy to forget and it's a real pain in the ass to correct later on in the build. The first thing you want to do when you open your motherboard is to find the I.O. shield, which is this flimsy metal plate which looks like it wants to give you tetanus. You kind of line it up with the motherboard I.O. ports and then you attach the I.O. shield to your case. And then you line up the board with it. What makes it such an annoying thing to forget is if at the end of the build you forgot to put this first, then you're going to have to basically remove everything else, put in the IO shield, and then reassemble everything. So, first things first, when you open up the motherboard, is to make sure you install your IO shield. Kung hinahanap mo yung IO shield mo at di mo mahanap, most likely sobrang high end ng motherboard mo, and it already comes pre installed or integrated into the motherboard. Good job, fancy pants. One of the advantages of buying expensive hardware. So same scenario, kakabild mo lang, super excited, and when you turn it on, nagbuboot up siya. Congratulations. Problema, walang display on your monitor. But don't panic yet. There's actually a simple solution, and this is a common problem. First thing to do is to check if you've plugged in the cable of your monitor into the proper port. Because long story short, if you have a GPU, it should be plugged into your GPU. Now, how do you know if you have a GPU? Most GPUs install in the top part. So, medyo sa gitna ng case. All cases have these kinds of panels. Tinatanggal yung panels here, yung mga top panels, to make way for the GPU. So, if you have anything here in this top part, 95% of the time, that's a GPU. And that's where you should plug in your monitor. So, HDMI cable, plug it into the HDMI port of your GPU. And hopefully, something should come out on the display. Now, Let's imagine na wala tong GPU. Let's say, takpan natin to, the panels are back in place, wala kang GPU, isasaksak mo yung monitor mo into your motherboard. HDMI port on the motherboard, and hopefully you should have display. Long story short, if you have a GPU, it should go into the GPU. If wala GPU, into the motherboard. So it's not noticeable in a lot of build videos, but you don't actually want to place the motherboard directly onto the case. That causes short circuits, that will ruin everything, that's a shortcut to ending your PC building career. A lot of build videos don't mention them, but the motherboard actually rests on these risers or standoffs. Every motherboard, regardless of brand or model, has these holes. They're very distinctive holes on the MOBO. So you line up the motherboard holes with the risers, and then that's where you screw them in. The motherboard actually does not come into contact at all with the case because metal on metal and you throw in electricity is always a bad recipe. 
If you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you're already familiar with this tip. We're always talking about dual channel because basically, it's a free boost to your performance. Now, how do you do dual channel? You have two sticks of RAM. Basically, you just enable it by sticking the RAM into the proper slots. Which slots depends on your motherboard. So it's always best to check your manual. But as a default, we usually put them in the 4 and 2 settings. So the 4 setting is the one farthest from the CPU. And then 2 would be the next one over. And there you have it in dual channel. Nice speed boost for free. But you should always check with your manual which configuration will enable dual channel for your motherboard. There are a variety of payment options available. Click pay now. And we will finish the rest of these instructions at the latter part of our video. So stay tuned. The very first thing you should do when building a computer is to discharge yourself. Now we all have static electricity to a greater or lesser extent. And the static electricity can discharge into your sensitive, expensive components like your RAM, your motherboard, etc. This fear is a little overemphasized. There are videos online like Yunkai Linus where he shows that you need a lot of energy before you can actually damage components. But yung thinking natin is, madali lang naman to discharge yourself. It's an easy safety precaution. Why not do it? So to discharge yourself before touching any PC component, just find anything metal. And yung maganda sa building computers, you always have something metal on hand, like your case. So you can touch the metal parts of your case and this discharges yourself, wala ka ng static electricity. Or you can hold on to your PSU, the cage of which is made out of metal. This also gets rid of static electricity. So again, not something super critical. There are some builders that get super obsessed about, oh my god, I need to make sure ESD protection, blah, blah, blah. No need to panic. It's relatively simple to touch something metal. Next one is a very practical tip. Make sure you have the tools on hand necessary for PC building. Now, you don't need an LTT screwdriver to build a computer. But you should have at least a basic Phillips screwdriver, a cutter, and probably scissors. Have these three things ready before you even open up your computer parts. As with most things, preparation is key and making sure you have the proper equipment ready will be very beneficial when you start building your computer. So same scenario as before, you build mo lang ng computer mo and you're super excited but the thing won't turn on. Nasubukan mo na yung PSU flip tip natin. The next tip, unfortunately, is easy to think about but hard to do. You need to check all of your wiring. Make sure all of the basic wiring is correct. So yung 24 pin mo dun sa motherboard, yung SATA to the hard drives, yung GPU power cable mo. A lot of the problems with new builds stems from the fact na for whatever reason, hindi tama yung pagsaksak ng mga basic cables. And this can be a real chore, especially kung na cable manage mo na siya ng maayos. But double checking everything, especially the wiring, will probably lead you to the source of the problem. And it really happens to the best of us. That day, I remember I was troubleshooting a computer. 30 minutes I was to sa kanya, and then I realized di ko palana saksak yung RAM. So very basic things can derail even experienced builders. And before I get to the most affordable and bang for buck item on the list, let's finish the installation guide of your Windows product key. After you've finished paying, you'll find your Windows product key within your account profile. Go to Windows Activator, copy and paste that key in there, and you are good to go. Remember to use our discount code HS20 to get that 25% discount. Save the best tip for last, and that's take your time. Alam mo kung pinapanood mo yung mga build videos sa YouTube, ang ganda nila tingnan, sobrang bilis, sobrang linis, parang di nila iniisip, pak 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 lang, tapos na yung build. But it's not like that in real life. Don't feel pressured. Taking your time has so many advantages. You can double check to make sure everything was properly inserted. You can make sure that you're doing things correctly. PC building actually is pretty unglamorous. Yung nga, hindi siya kagaya ng mga YouTube videos na nakita mo. Ako personally, when I build, usually hindi aircon when I build. So, natatakot ako na napapawisan ako, baka magtulo yung pawis ko onto the motherboard. Very unglamorous things. But that's the reality of PC building. There are a lot of things that don't usually get covered. All we see is the glamorous side. But there's a lot of effort behind the scenes. There's a lot of time involved in making sure you get the proper parts. And when you get the proper parts, that you install everything correctly. Taking your time allows you to double check the tutorials, double check the manual. 
double check that all of the expensive things you bought are installed properly. Kaya don't panic, take your time, make sure you're doing things correctly. And if you need help, nandito naman yung Hardware Sugar for more tech videos like this. Or you can actually chat with the shop even if you don't buy from us. We're always happy to help out people on our Discord or on our Facebook. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually meron kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.